welcome to another episode of Driven. I'm Angela Craig with Dagley Insurance, and today my guest is Debbie Stallings. Hi. Team leader, founder of the team. Debbie Stallings Home Team. Debbie Stallings Home Team. <laughs> I need a better name. <laughs> no, it's good. If you have a better name, suggest I, it in the comments. I was but, out of ideas, so we just we're just the Debbie Stallings Home Team. I think that's a great idea. You you sell homes. Right. That's what you do. <laughs> right. So you've been doing that for almost eight years. You've been in the been real, in real estate, estate eight business. years. Yeah, I was an assistant for two, so active license six, um, but in, in real estate eight years. Okay. Tell me what you did before you became a realtor. I was a crime scene investigator. A real crime scene investigator. CSI. It really was a dream job. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have a master's degree in criminal justice so you know naturally I became a real estate agent <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah I was a crime scene investigator um, I worked at Garland Lease that's how I met my husband he's a police officer yeah yeah I loved the job it was it really was a dream job I, uh, but I, I'm sure you saw some bad things I did like I saw a, a, a lot, lot you don't a lot need of, to share yeah, a lot of dead but bodies bad yeah but, <laughs> But that's how I met my husband. He's Aww. been a police officer, I think, 16 or 17 years. Okay, so married to your police yeah. officer husband. You've yeah. got two kids. Two kids. Cody is 13 and Claire is 8. All right. Cody just turned 13 last weekend. Cody and Claire. Yeah. Was the C and the C intended to be a C and a C? Yeah. Because my S and S were not. It was just those were the names we liked. It was because my husband's name is Chad. Oh. So C's. Okay. So I'm Except the R man you. Now. I'm a D. Yeah. Crime scene investigator. You decide you're going to have kids and you start doing what? Well, I started, uh, when, you know, we were dating for a while, then uh, got married and had, got pregnant. And that's when I realized that I needed an, another job because the shift work wasn't for me as a mom. So I started teaching college and I was a college professor for a few years in teaching criminal justice classes and crime scene classes. Um, I love that. Love teaching. I think that's why even now in real estate, I have that coaching mentality because I love teaching. Right. But it was while I was um, teaching college that I got my real estate license. Kind of did that as, as a side thing. Um, and that's when I started. Also, um, I was a transaction coordinator, assistant for a couple years while also teaching. I had already taken the classes, but I hadn't taken the test yet. So I decided, because back, back when I was an assistant, you did not yet need a license. So I had the classes, but just not my license yet. Um, so I took the test, got my license, and then um, after a few more months of being an assistant with the license at the time, I decided to make it active. And that's when I joined Fathom and um, haven't looked back since. I love it. What is one of the main contributors to your success in real estate? Well, thank you for thinking I'm successful. <laughs> yeah, well, of course you are. <laughs> yeah, I like to think I am. You know, I... Um, I think I, I really blossomed um, about two, three years ago. You know, I was a still considered a new, newish agent. Um, I think up until about 2019, 2020, and I just decided to really to dive into things. You know, I, I was someone who at that time, um, I guess I don't know if I just didn't have enough confidence, but I kind of just stayed where I was and waited for things to come to me. Mm -hmm. But then. Um, the 2019 2020 year when we were all holed up in our houses <laughs> I decided I was tired of waiting tired of just sitting around so I started diving into things I started learning technology and I think that's probably the biggest thing that has helped me is learning the technology that we've been given I started using social media a lot more and I started um, learning about ways to brand myself you got to be a go-getter in this field mm -hmm. you know you got to get out there and um, find things and um, you know it's kind of like that old saying in that movie if you build it they will come yes if you build it they will come and that's yes. true that's field of dreams yes field of dream Kevin Costner I used to have a big crush on him too do you want now Yellowstone no I need to I know I've been you hearing so much about that you don't watch that well, but see I but that was like in my early 20s when yeah, I yeah but you it, it's gonna it's come back now. yeah I need to start watching Yellowstone okay so many people are all right I'm gonna ask you some fun yeah. questions all right so tell me what was your first car my first car was a Chevy a white Chevy Cavalier okay and funny story about that two weeks after I got it I wrecked it oh lord <laughs> Yeah, that's my... What um, did your parents say? Oh, yeah, my dad wasn't too happy. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, gosh. Yeah, two weeks after I got it, I was... I was at, but um, you were okay. Yeah, so it, it I backed into fine. a car in a neighborhood. I was out with friends. Yeah. I was out much later than what I was supposed to. I was 16. 
And I, my dad had a, a night job where he never knew what time I came home. Oh. And my mom was asleep, but he found out what time. <laughs> because you had the accident? Yes. Yeah, so I wow. was in a lot of trouble. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, um, but it was, so I was in, I think I was in um, the side street and I, I backed into a car. So like, what happened? But yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't fun. <laughs> but that was my first car, white Chevy Cavalier. And then do you have something that if you could, you know, walk on a, a car lot right now, what, what car would you pick just to drive off that lot? Um, don't say you're not a car person because I'm, people say that car. and I don't like that answer. I don't know, so. I like this car pretty much. Yeah, I, mean, I know. Infinities. Yeah. That's what I one. have too. I mean, when I was a kid, I remember stuff. I wanted that Chevy Cavalier so bad. I liked the way it looked. But now, like, I, for the several years, I was a minivan mom. You were? I was. Okay. Because the kids were younger and we, you needed the minivan. And there's a lot of cup holders, right? Yes. That's yeah. one thing I don't like about it. I love this car. This is an Infinity, but there's not enough cup holders. The there's minivan, not. it was a, not a Dodge. It was a Chrysler Town & Country. It had like five or six cup holders <laughs> up here. Like it was yeah, great. Cause I, much live yeah, I always have to have my Thor cup and I always have to have a cup of coffee. And then I, I do that too. <laughs> I have multiple drinks. Ooh. 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 Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Stop signs are just suggestions. <laughs> okay, so then, um, so childhood crush, Kevin Costner. Yes, I right? saw. I or saw Robin. First crush. I saw Robin Hood like twenty times in the theater. Oh my. Yeah. I really liked him at the time. I mean, not, not so much now. You know, Thor's the crush. My husband's not gonna like me saying all that though. He's my crush. Just quick fire questions: tacos or pizza? Pizza. Cake or pie? Depends on the type. Favorite vacation destination? Okay. That one is easy. Anyone who knows me right now and has followed me on Facebook for the past year knows the answer to that question is the Maldives. Okay. We went there last year for our oh, anniversary. Oh, did go? We did. Oh, yes. Oh, it was the best amazing. vacation ever. We had one of those little bungalows right over the water. Right. You could step out and the water's right there. Plus, so we had a private cool. pool. Oh, man. That's um, awesome. What is your favorite thing about being a realtor? Well, I like... Um, oh, so much I like about real estate, you know, of course, this is cliche, but of course I love seeing the houses, you know, yes. I do. Okay. Is there something like but, the nicest house you've ever seen or the, like the craziest thing you've ever seen? In a house? Um, a house I showed once had a, they were growing weed. Okay. Well, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Like in a, <laughs> in a garage, <laughs> they had like a whole little garden going on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If you could give advice to somebody that was thinking of getting into real estate, what advice would you give them? It's not like you see on an HGTV. <laughs> it's not just showing houses. Realize that um, it's not, you're not going to be handed clients. You have to be a people person. Um, you have to be, you can't be shy about getting yourself out there. You know, um, my mm -hmm. first couple of years in real estate, I, I was, and I did okay with my business, but I didn't get, do great because I didn't get myself out there enough. But since I kind of flipped, and turn myself around a little bit, it's been a big game changer for me. Who, who would you say has had like the biggest impact on um, who you are today? Um, on who I am today? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have to first say my husband. I did an interview for a magazine about a year ago, or a little less than that, and I actually forgot to mention my husband. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, Chad. Honey. He is my biggest supporter. He is. He, um, um, like he has a shirt that has my logo on it. He wears it as often as he can. <laughs> he is. He helps me when out so much. When he's arresting people, does he give them slip their he needs to do card that. in there? He needs to do that. I've told him, honey, you need to promote me at your work. You need to do that. But yeah, <laughs> one thing that motivates me, you know, aside from my husband, one thing that motivates me a lot is being told I can't do something. When I was a kid, you know, when you do like team sports stuff and they you pick your teams. Yes. I was always the last one picked. Yeah, and that is bullshit. That is, this, it is bullshit. But it's, it sucks. It is, but that was me. And I was always so the that, last yeah, one picked. Yeah, you. and it, so it, it pushes you down. Mm -hmm. So basically, who, who has motivated me is anyone and everyone who has ever pushed me down and said I couldn't do something or has never helped me. That's what motivates me because it makes me do it myself. I don't think he's going to let me over. He's a jerk. All right, Debbie, so I just want to know what is it that um, drives you, yeah, what is it that drives you every day to continue 
um, being fearless. What keeps me driven? Because that's the name of the podcast, right? Yes, that is driven. the name. What mm-hmm. drives the show. me? It's just, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like you only live once, right? And I, do, I like to learn things myself, and I like to help others learn, too. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know something, you, you teach yourself and you figure it out. Exactly. Yeah. Like, don't just sit there and be content. Watch other people do it. And right. Be like, oh, I wish I could do that. Like, that's, figure it out. And that's what I that's what I realized the yeah. whole 2020 year. So, you have year. a YouTube channel. Yeah, which is, which helps um, others. Because I, I got to a point where so many other agents were asking me how, how to do things. And... um. I kind of reply to everybody because I like li- literally would get bombarded with tons of messages. So I decided to make, a, I'm like, I'm just going to make a video showing me doing stuff and I'm going to post it and make a YouTube channel. <laughs> so yeah. I try to, I try to be the helpful one yeah. as much as I can. So, um, all right, Debbie. So where can people find you? How can they get a hold of you? Oh, I should have brought a little sign, huh? To hold up. Four. Um, Actually, you know what? Your cup. Your yes, other my, cup my other too, cup. I can't. It has my, well, it just has my logo on it. That's okay. my coffee. Yeah, I did that, it. That's my, that's You're my sparkly. logo. My sparkly. Yes. Yeah, I'm all about the sparkles. Blue line is to support the police. Mm-hmm. Back the blue. So you um, are on Instagram and Facebook Yes, at and Debbie YouTube. Stallings Realtor. Uh, well, I have two. Debbie Stallings Realtor and Debbie Stallings Home Team. They're okay. both me. Okay. But that's how, and my, my phone number is 214 214 <laughs> four, 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 one. I, I can't hold up all my fingers. Four, one, eight, <laughs> three, two, three, seven. <laughs> Debbie Stallings Realtor or Debbie Stallings Home Team. But Perfect. yeah, my anyone on my team can help. My team is great. I love my team, you guys. And um, I appreciate your passion and your enthusiasm for everything that you do. Um, it's contagious, and I appreciate your oh time. Oh my gosh, I thought that was your card. Somebody was stealing your hey. card. <laughs> Because I saw it pulling out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> For all your real estate needs, check out Debbie Stallings. Debbie Stallings Home Team. Debbie Stallings Home Team. Or Debbie Stallings Me. See, Debbie there's Stallings just so many team. different. I need a different name for my team. Mm, I need to come up with something be. else. See, I tried to make a tagline with my last name, Stalling. Like, my first year, actually. Stop stalling. I, that's exactly what's my, ta- ta- yeah. my tagline. It was, don't stall today, call Debbie Stallings. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Driven. Stay driven, everyone. I'm Angela Craig with Dagley Insurance. For all your insurance needs, check us out. Debbie, thank you again. Thank you. This You're was welcome. fun. It was fun. And um, we'll see you next time on Driven. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, and wait, Thor.